we welcome the Washington State Cougars, head coach Cami Etheridge, Bella Mercatete, and Elnora Villa. Coach, we'll have you open, and then we'll take questions. Yeah, I just want to congratulate Cal. I mean, I thought Charmin and her team were just amazing. I thought uh, McIntosh was just a senior that wasn't going to let them win. I thought they brought more energy. They just crushed us on the boards. Um, you know, just the much more physical, more athletic team that um, just pushed pace and, and got pretty much anything they wanted. We just didn't put much resistance up and obviously had a hard time scoring. So congratulations to them. There's, they obviously deserve to advance. And, you know, we sit back and now we, we wait and see. Thank you. In the back. Cammy, uh, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. With, with that, in terms of the offensive struggles, it, it seemed like after the first quarter they really did a good job of maybe shutting down the passing lanes, frustrating. How, how much did, did you see that slowly just deflate your team in terms of not being able to hit a bucket? There were, there were some open shots that they missed, some layups that they were missing. How much did that sort of run a toll on their mental game as, um, as Cal built their lead? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I thought we got some really good looks, um, but – you know, finishing it against length and athleticism, um, you know, being sped up a little bit, pressing a little bit, you know, we weren't able to, to, to put some shots down. I thought they did a great job in, in just guarding the pick and roll with two players and not coming off and, and not giving us very many good looks on the perimeter. Again, they did a f fantastic job of that. We had to, we felt like we had to get, create a, an opportunity on those on those ball screens, and we we just didn't connect very well with our posts and our guards uh, in that. So I think we we definitely pressed and, and got a little, um, you know, you know, deflated is what you termed it. Um, lost a little confidence there, um, and and then because we couldn't keep them off the boards or just try to get some stops it just you know we couldn't get ourselves back in the game enough um, because of what they were doing on the offensive end so um, you know you got to match people you got to be able to score the basketball you got to score one-on-one -on -one at times you know and and they just did a much better job scoring one-on-one -on -one than than we did Cammy, I wonder uh, it's been a few weeks now obviously but just the loss of Legger Walker and what you've had to uh, adjust and adapt to offensively and just kind of how difficult that transition has been. Yeah, I mean, I think probably, you know, in every phase, she's, she's a huge loss for us. Um, I, but leadership is, is probably what she was just the one person that we couldn't afford to lose, you know, because she's so even kill and she can kind of keep everybody together. She's the voice in every huddle, um, you know, you got to have five people on the court on the same page, and she could keep people on the same page, not to mention she could bail us out a lot of times too. So, you know, that's the voice, the voice and the, the stability. Uh, I don't think you plan on, on replacing, you know, with eight or ten games left in your season. And so I do think that continues to be a problem for us. Uh, I think L.A.'s done everything imaginable to try to keep us in it as a freshman. Um, but we still need some stability from our upperclassmen and the guys that, that score, should needs to score for us. We got to get scoring punch from from Bella. We got to continue to get scoring punch from Tara and At. Those are key players for us. B needs to. And and again, we're just really inconsistent with getting the the numbers that we need. You know, to get four people in double figures or five people in double figures. We're just we're not getting that. So L. A. finishes the game with 17, and no one else really comes very close to it. So. There's just not enough scoring punch right now, and, and, and you know, we've got to continue to get that from, from multiple people. I guess another one here. Um, you're listed at, I think, number 25 in the net rankings, and you're listed in the NCAA tournament. How do you view your situation right now? Well, you know, they say it's the body of work. I mean, I still want our team to be in it. I think we've shown that we compete really well against top teams in the country. I don't know that tonight was a great representative of us. Um, but if they stay, stay true to what they say as far as body of work and the whole year, I mean, we're 25 or 26 in the net. We challenged ourselves in non-conference. Uh, yes, we had a key injury, but um, we still beat someone a top 15 on the, on the road. Um, 
I don't care how we get in. I'd love us to have a chance to play. Um, I'd love us to have a better chance to, to perform better than we did tonight. So we're hopeful. We're, we're hoping that the, the committee, you know, looks at our entire year's work. And uh, I think it would be a great situation for our team to, to have a chance to perform in, in the NCAA tournament. In the back. Did you want to finish, Jack? I don't want to dominate. Just after, after the energetic ex performance at Colorado, what do you think happened here? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes matchups are just the way they are. You know, I've always thought we've matched up pretty well with Colorado. I, I don't want to be too simplistic, but I think uh, Cal's a, a really tough matchup. You know, when you have a senior that makes five threes, uh, you got Cromilly that you kind of expect. It, McIntosh starts playing like that. You know, Michelle just crushed us on the boards and, and, and their whole team. I mean, they got it from everybody, crashed the boards and, and, and got them second chance points. So when you get beat, you know, 26 to 8, I don't think that's an accident. That's kind of who they are. And unfortunately, it might be a little bit of who we are. So we got to fix that. And, uh, you know, that, that lets them be in games if they can kind of dominate the glass and continue to get shots after missing the first one. So it's, it might be a tough matchup for us. But even in, at the end of the day, they score 65 points. So you go, well, you know, it's about scoring. And uh, obviously, they're very good defensively. I thought this year they've been way better than they've ever been. So uh, again, I think it's a lot of credit to them. I'm just disappointed that we didn't we didn't match their energy level. I thought they just really outplayed us again. Lindsay in the front. Uh, Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Kimmy, I was going to ask you, he kind of stole my question, but I was going to ask you, make your best case to the NCAA. The selection committee chairs running <laughs> around here somewhere, specifically given how this conference is so good. I know that ACC is good too, but I don't think they're nearly as strong at the top as the Pac-12 is given how many top 10 teams there are. Right. I mean, we're the seventh team in the top 25 of the net. So I don't know. There's not another league even close to that. So, again, I, I, I just look at they tell you to go play non-conference. They tell you, you know, we're in a league that is is unbelievably strong. We had a really hard, you know, conference schedule as far as the people we doubled up. And, uh, again, had a hard injury, I understand that. If you want to punish us for injury, I understand that we don't, maybe we don't make the tournament, but they always say it's the body of work. It might now, a seed, they might give us a bad seed, maybe we deserve a lesser seed, but I just think um, it's insane not to think that seven, eight, or nine teams could get in from the pack with the, the depth of our league. And um, I think we're one of those. I think we are clearly have done the work for the entire year. And like I said, if, if you say that's important, if you, if you say the net is important, then we're clearly in the tournament. Down here, and then we'll take up in the back. Uh, Jeff Metcalf, Pac-12 Highline. Um, Bella, I wonder, well, both the players really, you guys played really close games with Cal in the two previous uh, matchups. What was the difference tonight from those games? And then, Cam, I just wanted to ask you and maybe Bella to, to put in perspective like what you accomplished last year and how hard that is <laughs> to come back. Now you lose in the first round, and uh, admittedly without Charlize, but just the difference you know, between that feeling and what happened and where you are, you know, what happened today. I think Coach Coachy just already explained it, what, what happened today. I think um, they came in hungrier and they did not want to go home today. And they had a senior who was really committed to lead them and to not go home. I think that was what was the difference of today and the past two games we played them. Yeah, I think that credit to them because they are a very good team a very good team and very hard to play against. And I think that maybe today we didn't part the game as we wish. And and so what we can do now is just learn from this game and do our best the next time. Yeah, I just want to, I mean, I, I think what we did last year was incredible, but I'm so sick of thinking about it. Like, I think it's over. I think, unfortunately, for our program, we we thought that was the end all, 
and, and have given ourselves too much credit, quite frankly. Um, you earn what you get. This year we haven't earned as much as far as what we can accomplish or, or haven't proven it on the court as much as we need to. Um, it is hard. There's no question winning this tournament is hard, certainly as a seven seed or an eight or nine seed. It's, impo you know, it's really, really what we did was amazing. But um, this is a different team, and I want and we want this program to be known for making NCAA tournaments and advancing in the NCAA tournament. So as good as that Pac-12 championship was, it's still not the end all for what we want this program to be. You know, we're hungry to win a game in the NCAA tournament and advance in the tournament. So that's what I want this program to be built on and not just a conference championship. We'll take one final question in the back. Logan Reaver with uh, CBS Las Vegas. Coach, in terms of just the, what are the emotions with this being the end of the road for the Pac-12 tournament and then also just playing in Las Vegas, your thoughts? Today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teresa's here and their staff. Um, you know, it's just the most unfortunate thing I can think of that um, this is kind of the end of the Pac-12. And, you know, we all know women's basketball is, is the, you know, as far as sports go is the, the you know, it's the highlight of, of women's basketball across the country. It's just, uh, and it's insane that, that we're not going to be continuing this or have a West Coast footprint. So we're going to, I'm going to trust Teresa to, to keep working this league and, and maybe we, we reinvent ourselves. But um, again, it's, it's been an amazing run to be a part of the pack. Um, and uh, I'll be like everybody else, really sad that, that we no longer have this tournament and have this team and have this league that's going to continue to be, I think these teams will continue to be some of the best teams across the country for years and years and years. And um, yeah, disappointed that, that this is how we end it. Thank you, coach and players.